Hello everyone, this is Light and I'm going to show you how to install, download, and run Techtopia, Tango Tech's villager mod. I'm also going to be going over how to get Forge, because uh, you'll need that for uh, the mod. So, first thing we're going to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. And when you open your launcher, you will go up to installations. Now, for Techtopia to run on 1.12.2 Forge, you will need to have an instance of 1.12 so Forge can build off of it. So we're going to go into here, select new, and we will go into the versions, drop down the versions, and go to 1.12.2. Hit create, and then we are going to open it up, hit play, and let it run. Alright, and as soon as it pops up this window, you can go ahead and just quit the game because we all we need to do is run it to install all of the libraries for 1.12. So from here, we'll be going into uh, Tango Tech's wiki. I've already got a link to it here, but there'll be a link in the description how to get to it. Uh, from the home page, we'll go on the side to the about, into the installation guide, and you can go down to the install of Minecraft Forge. And click onto that link um, and from here we're going to be installing the 1.12.2 uh, 1423 5.27.68 it's the recommended don't do the latest because it doesn't always work so we'll come over here and if you are on uh, Windows you will be able to hit this one or you can install the um, forge jar from here. I'll click onto the windows. It will pop up a little thing here. It might say um, it's not safe. Uh, you just be able to keep it. Alright. So from here, we should be able to show in the folder and then double click onto it. That's left click. In here, it'll pop up this little installer. And we want to install it for your client. So it's in the right thing. Hit OK. Alright, and once it's installed, it will say successfully uh, installed. Hit OK. And then exit out of that. And we can exit out of Forge 2. So when we get that, then we will need to uh, open the Minecraft launcher again. And it's already it already made an instance of Forge 1.12 in your downloads or into your installations on the launcher. So from here, we'll be able to play and let it run so it will bring in some of the Forge uh, pieces to your Minecraft folder. All right, from here, we're just going to minimize for now and go back into the wiki and drop down to install Tango Tech's Villager Mod Techtopia. So, one down here. Uh, this will also be linked in the description. And click into this. And here, you've got a, a download up here, but you can go and see the recent files and pick the latest. We'll come in here, this is the latest one. Click on the download. We'll say your download will begin shortly and it'll pop up over here down in the download section. Now here's where it will say this file can harm your computer. Don't worry, you can just keep. And as soon as it loads, it will blink and then we can show in folder. I normally like to just throw this onto my desktop for now and then we'll be able to minimize out. So this next there's two ways to do it and i'll show you both the ways first is to go into options you can go into your resource packs open your resource pack folder and then go back in um, the directory here uh, or the file path sorry into minecraft so from there you've got your mods folder from forge 
and you can open that up and place it right in. But the other way you can do it is just go ahead and exit out of Minecraft because we're going to have to let it load up anyhow again. And come down into your search bar and hit percent app data percent and you'll be able to click on this folder up here and it will bring you into this right here and you can go on Minecraft and you're in the same folder you got from there so click on to mods and just drag Ectopia in now if you have other forge installs from earlier versions and other things you can go ahead and come in here hit new put in a folder and call this 1.12.2 and go ahead and drop Tectopia in here so that will just show that that's for 1.12.2 you can leave it in there and it'll be fine but if you don't you can just leave it in your mods folder so that's what we'll that's what we'll go ahead and do I will just bring this back click it into my mods folder and then get rid of this 1.12 with new so leave it in your mods and it should be fine so from here we can go ahead and reopen minecraft and what we want to do on the install is go into our forge and go to more options from here we want to change the jvm arguments from two gigs to four. Uh, if you have less than eight gigs of RAM on your computer, I would suggest trying it uh, at two, seeing how it works, but you might need to think about getting more RAM for your computer, because four gigs is the recommended amount to run Tectopia. So change that to four and then hit save. And we can go ahead, come back in, and hit play. All right, and then when it loads up, down here it says there's six mods loaded. That means it should be installed. And be able to click on here, it's got Techtopia. So we'll be able to, let me pull this to full screen, and then we can go make ourselves a single player world. If you've got a multiplayer uh, Techtopia world going, that's fine, great, you can use that. We'll go in here, we can rename this. Let's call it Techtopia, or whatever you want to call it. So for the tutorial, I'm going to change this to creative, but you can leave that in survival. And just create a new world. And this will load up a new world. And then here you are. We are now in 1.12.2 Forge with Techtopia installed. You get a book along that says uh, welcome to Techtopia goes over the complexity of it and it will also link you back to the wiki So yeah uh, Last thing to do is to make sure it escape and go into your options Video settings and make sure your render distance is at least 12 so you will get your nomads and your the necros and the merchants the spawn and the edges of your village so yeah guys if i helped you out here leave me a like and subscribe for more uh, also i got a techtopia let's play uh, started on tango tech's patreon server so yeah uh, i'll leave that in the description too so you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys bye